the time has come for us to sell our 2021 Reflection 31 MB. And that's what this video is about. I just kind of wanted to go over some of the things that I liked about this unit, some of the things that I've upgraded on this unit, uh, just because I thought I'd be able to do a video. We listed it last night, and I thought I'd be able to have a little time to, to list a video of some of the things that we've done to it. We're getting so much attention, I'm afraid that it's going to be sold before I can get all these videos pulled together. So anyways, without looking at my ugly face, I'm going to turn you around and just kind of point and talk about some of the things that we have done, and some of the things that we've liked about this unit. So let's get started. First of all, the blackout shades. Blackout shades are awesome in these newer units. We had the old crinkle blinds and there's nothing wrong with the crinkle blinds. You can see through the crinkle blinds. If you have enough lighting on, you can see straight through them. And that's not good when it comes to bedroom changing or getting out of the shower or anything. So blackout blinds are amazing. We love them. In this 31 MB, this sits down. This In this dinette, this table goes down and there is a cushion that goes on top of that. It makes for a pretty comfy bed. But I don't know if you can see, these cushions are really thick. But there is storage under here, there's storage all underneath that cushion, and there's storage under this cushion as well. Really love that. And boom, heated massage, heated massage, and just recline. So all three of these recline, but only these two on the outsides have the power, the cool buttons, and what have you to be able to play. Yeah, I get in trouble a lot because I like to play with the lights and the heat and the, the massage. But this just folds down. This just folds down and then you can have some separation. If say you or your spouse stinks, <laughs> you can separate a little bit right there. Got great lights above, close that up. And you can see how many windows there are back here on this backside. That's why we like this mid bunk is because the kids no longer had the best view at the campsites because most times than not, the best view is out of the back. So a mid bunk pretty much solves that problem. Now turning around, I'll give you a quick second to look at this. Now this fireplace, this fireplace will heat up this whole entire place. It'll keep it around 68, somewhere around there, 65. When it's 45 degrees outside, it will keep this whole place warm. And you do not have to use any of your propane heat. So that is a huge plus. Um, coming on over here, you've got a spot for your coffee maker. You've got a nice stove and oven with the blue lights on it yeah nice convection oven the little glass thing's not in there right now because we take it out when we travel uh but it, this this kitchen is really set up well we liked it we had no problems with it and there's plenty i know you can see there's plenty of storage uh, but you can see i i installed led lights on the bottom of the island and that helps so much at night of course it doesn't constantly change colors I've got it set there to just to show you that it can change to almost any color uh, but stainless steel yeah sink under there nothing hiding thank heavens uh, but this right here is a must if you have a camper and you have access to power shore power I highly recommend that you always run a dehumidifier it takes out the smells it takes out the moisture and it takes out any of the condensation if you have it now if it's really really cold you can't help but get condensation on your windows but if it's just kind of a cool night and it's warm in here this right here will keep the condensation off your windows turning over here to this big pantry that we have I installed LED lights to go down both sides to where it's not just the the upper light up there and i also wired these lights these strip lights in to the motion part yeah it really really makes a difference that way you can see everything on your shelves including some small wishes bob's mug coffee go check out bobsmugcoffee.com if you get a chance that is uh my website like i said so and we give a minimum back minimum five percent of our profit back to Make-A-Wish, which lately it's been a lot more because we just love giving to them. Uh, and we've been so fortunate with some of our coffee sales. But moving on, I have upgraded. Be sure if you get a 31MB or you have any other sliding door in your camper, 
be sure and get these. They're off of Amazon and they just loop around and they keep your camper or they keep your door from sliding around. I've got one at the top and one at the bottom as well. That really helps. The fabric ones that come from the dealer or come the, from the factory, they, they don't cut it. They go around and actually, yeah, they go around and then there's a little strap here, but they wear out over time because it's just a little piece of nylon. So get your bungees and that'll solve your, your barn door or your pocket door sliding around. This fridge seems small, but let me tell you, it will feed my family of four for a week. Now I don't have teenagers, I've got smaller kids, but we can pack that refrigerator pretty full and it will feed us for a week with just the four of us. So don't, don't knock the small refrigerators. I actually like the smaller refrigerator because it takes less time to cool down. I know that sounds weird, but it takes less time to cool down than the double door that we had on our 2019 28 BH. Loved it, but really like the, the capabilities of this smaller refrigerator. Here's a view from the bunk room. And I will move to the bunk room. This is a great bunk room. The only reason we are selling this is because this top bunk is just a little too short for my daughter. Now, could I tell her to get over it? Yes, but we're gonna go full time and we all need to start out happy. Sometimes I feel like I'm just rambling on, which a lot of people in the comments will probably say that I am. But here's another thing that I did. And I don't know if you've seen, but I have a video of these drawers and I didn't like these drawers because they were so short. So what did I do? Boom. I added a hinge to the bottom of the bed and we have storage now. I took those drawers out and just put the door face or the drawer facings back on. But yeah, that, that was a lot of storage that we got. Because it was all wasted space under there other than those three little drawers. The ladder, 31 MBs do not come with ladders. You will have to get a ladder off of Amazon. That's just a basic metal ladder that you can find and it works great i've gotten on it i did have to trim the bottom the poles down there but that's that's completely easy to do okay moving on we did install this tv uh just it was a really easy just to mount a flat bracket back there and we we're just going to leave the tv i'm not one to pull all the tvs out whenever we sell a unit but your fuse panel is down there and all these drawers so they're pretty they're pretty shallow but they're still you have a lot of drawers oh, i don't know what's up here okay good uh, that's one of katie's favorite hats but you have a lot of space up here to organize pool noodle then you have a mirror with a beardless guy i don't know but you can see right here where i took the straps off i don't know if you can see i took the strap that went around here because it was kind of tearing up the door and the nylon strap was ripping and then I put one of these guys down here. So I'm telling you, those are the way to go. If you find those on eBay, or not eBay, Amazon, that's the way to go. I installed this uh, slim, slim Shade, Slim Screen almost called it, but I installed the Slim Shade. It was great. That's very easy to do. Very worth the money. I don't know how much they are now. Everything seems to be going up in price. But you can take a quick look at the living area. We love that island. And moving along, here's your control panel. You can see battery, fresh, black, gray, gray. Here's your ceiling, your water heater, gas and electric. So this, this unit, you can run both at the same time if you're hooked up to shore power. And you can have what's called the quick recovery on the water heater. So that really helps, but most times we just use the electric and it works very well. Here's your slides and your awnings and all the rest of your lights, your step light down here at the bottom. So we added this because as you can see, without them, you can see straight in from the sides. So we figured we'd go ahead and just add these in. If someone, if one of you buys our camper, then they come with, <laughs> they come with it. Here's the bathroom. It's not a very big shower, but it's not a very small shower. So it's just regular. 
I guess you could say regular. I don't know. It's medium. It's in between on the shower sizes. But really not much to say about the bathroom. You've got two, two storage spots for vanities, so mirrors looking back and forth at each other. You've got your sink. I did upgrade to a residential style um, faucet, and that the old faucet was the the output was down here and that was ridiculous I, I you could barely wash your hands because the sink or the faucet took up half the sink moving on to the bedroom big window here as you walk in on your right pretty good walking space in between the door and the bed now i will tell you if you're getting a 31 mb right here in this closet i didn't turn the motion light on right here in this closet there is this was not here so behind here is the anti-siphon valve for your black tank flush it comes up it comes up from the bottom comes up here and then there's a big anti-siphon valve in here and then it goes back down to your black tank that keeps that nasty water from your black tank from going back into your water hose which we have a gray hose a gray water hose so we don't drink out of that water hose that's the one that we use for this or to, to flush out our black tank but i figured it best to go ahead and cut a little access panel because sometimes those anti-siphon valves they leak and i wanted to make sure and it just is very convenient because it's right behind the shower faucet uh the shower valves so i can check on those as well periodically to make sure that they're not leaking in our wall too so just a little word of advice from uh, what i have done so far well, I say so far, we should be selling this pretty soon, so. All right, here's another look at the bedroom. Two, if you have a, if you add another mattress or if you add a mattress topper to the existing mattress, I will tell you that the hydraulic assists that come with these units, they will not hold up the bed the way that they come from the factory. So the way they come from the factory this bottom right here is bolted over there so they collapse all the time so all I did was I unscrewed from over there and I screwed them in over here and now it's pushing against the bed as opposed to both going the same direction if that makes any sense but it holds up the bed now so you can have um, a heavier mattress you can add a heavier mattress and you can add a mattress topper and switch those around and it will still go up and down and close so there's a uh, above the bed storage and then you've got two little lights over here that i had didn't turn on for some reason but we really like this unit and i know i'm missing some things that i have upgraded and changed like i said again i would like to take more time doing this but i think our camper is going to sell rather quickly uh, the oxygenics shower head is a must it's a little pricey i think they're going up in price like everything right now but it is definitely a must it keeps it keeps the hot water it's where it lasts longer it, it mixes better and you you use less water so two that's a plus if you're boondocking which on this one we don't have any solar and i don't have a generator that's small enough to carry around so we never did any boondocking but hopefully we will with our next rig seeing as how we are looking to go full time so that's just a general tour of our camper i hope you all enjoyed this video very soon this will be gone and we'll be in the hunt for the 3740bh and we will take you all along for that ride we're going to try to let everyone know every step that we take to go to this full time between all the paperwork selling the house how that worked out and and if we can find another camper <laughs> i don't know we'll see y'all take care and have a great week safe travels <laughs>